Hey, our friends, we're going to draw the Grinch, and we're going to draw a cartoon version, so we're going to try to keep this lesson super simple. I hope you're going to follow along with me. You've got a marker and some paper. Now, you don't have to use a marker if you don't want to. You can use a pencil or a crayon, whatever you feel comfortable drawing with. Okay, let's get started. We're going to first start by drawing his eyebrows right in the middle of the paper, but towards the top. Now, we don't want to be too high because we need room for his hat. So we're going to draw a V. And it's because he looks a little angry. So we're going to draw a curved V that comes down. And we're going to draw a curve that comes back up on the other side. Now we're going to draw his eyes. We're going to draw circles on each side. And we're not going to draw the full circle because part of the circle is underneath his eyebrow. So we're going to draw another one over here on this side also. There we go. Now if I ever go too fast, remember you can always pause the video. All right, now let's draw his pupils inside of these circles. So we're going to draw a smaller circle inside towards the top. And we're going to draw another one over here on this side. Kind of looks like owl eyes. Now we're going to draw his eyebrows. This is what really makes him look like the Grinch. So we're going to curve up right at the end. We can do that on both sides. And then we're going to draw a W. So we're going to go down, up, back down, and then back up. And we can do that over here also. Down, up, down, up. Now we can finish his eyebrows coming down into that V that we drew at the very beginning. Okay, now let's color in these two shapes, the two eyebrows. Next, we can draw the little wrinkle in between his two eyes. Next, let's draw his nose. We're going to draw an upside down U right in between his eyes. And then on each side, we're going to draw a curve that comes out. Now we're going to connect the left side over to the right with a wavy line. So we're going to curve this way, down, back up, and then curve into the, into the right side. So we got this really cool little nose. Okay, now let's draw his cheeks. We're going to draw a curve right here under the left eye and also curve under the right eye. Next, let's draw his smile. We we'll draw a little curve under each cheek, one over here and one on the right side. And then we can also do a little curve that comes down. Next, let's draw his mouth. And we can draw it kind of crooked. So we could draw a wavy line that comes down to a point, And then it's going to come back up to this other cheek. <laughs> All right, now right here in the middle, we're going to draw a curve that comes down from his nose down to his lips. Oh, he's starting to look like the Grinch, isn't it? Now we can draw his cheeks and his chin. Right here on the side, we're going to draw a zigzag, but it's going to be in, this, in a C shape. So we're going to draw this cool little zigzag so his cheeks look furry. And we can do that same thing over here. We're going to curve going the other direction. Now we can come down and draw his chin. So we're going to draw a curve that comes down close to his mouth and then back up and connect to his other cheek. Now let's draw the side of his head and we're going to draw his hat. We'll draw a curve that comes up like this, up to his eyebrow, and then we're going to draw a short one over here on this side. Now this is because his hat is going to be tipped to the side. Now let's draw the fluff that goes around the bottom of his hat. So we can draw a curve, a bumpy cloud line. Some of the bumps can be big and some of them can be small. And you can draw it right through his eyebrow. And we're going to connect over here to the right side of his head. And then we're going to curve back around and draw the top of it. So some of the bumps are big and then some of them are small. Now let's draw the top of his hat. We draw a curve that comes over to the side. And then we'll draw a short one right here on the right side. Now we're going to connect these two with a sideways V. So we're going to draw a curve that comes down, kind of a wavy line. And then we're going to come back up and connect to the bottom shorter line. Now at the, the very end, he's got a little cotton ball. And so we can draw a zigzag line and it comes down to a point and then we'll come back up. We've finished his face, his head, and also his hat. He looks really cool. Now we've drawn this before. We've drawn the Grinch's head, but this time we're going to finish him by drawing his body. We're going to draw the cotton that goes around his neck first. So down here, we're going to draw a bumpy line like we did for his hat and make sure that some of the bumps are small and some are big. You want to mix them up. Now we can draw his body. 
So let's draw two lines that come down, and then we're gonna draw his belly that comes out a little wider. There we go. <laughs> now we're gonna draw a smaller body since we're drawing a cartoon version of him. So let's connect his waist right here. We're not gonna draw him very tall. <laughs> so now let's draw another bumpy cloud line that goes around the bottom of his Santa suit. He's got the little fluffy stuff going around the bottom of his costume. And then we can draw his legs. So we're gonna draw another curve that comes in on each side. Then we're gonna draw the outside of his legs coming down a little further. Now, in between these two lines, we're gonna draw the letter T. We're gonna draw a straight line down in between. And then up here, we're gonna draw the top of the T. Now let's draw his feet. So down here at the bottom, we're gonna draw a curve that comes up and connects, and then comes out to the other side also. Then we can draw the top of his feet. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and does a little bump at the very end. Do the same thing over here on his right foot. We'll draw a bump down and then a small bump for his little toes. And we did it, we finished his body. He's missing his arms. So we're gonna draw a curve. We're gonna keep his arms super simple. We're gonna draw a little curve that comes out and then we're gonna draw more fluff right here at the end of his sleeves. And then we can draw his hand coming back in to his legs. So let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna repeat all of these same steps. We're gonna draw a line over here. Now I know I'm going fast for some of you. Remember to pause the video. Don't get frustrated. I hope you're still having a lot of fun following along with me. So we drew that little fluff or the cotton ball at the end of his sleeve, and we're gonna draw his arms coming into his legs. We did it, we finished drawing the Grinch. He looks so cool. Now I'm sure your drawings look amazing too, but he's gonna look even better once we color him. So I'm gonna put my marker down. In this part, we're gonna fast forward. I'm gonna use colored pencils to color him. And at the end, you can pause the video to match the same color. He looks so much better colored in, doesn't he? I hope you're gonna take the extra time to color in your drawings also. Now I use three colors, green, red, and yellow. I use red and yellow for his eyes, green for his head and his body, and red for his hat and his shirt. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing the Grinch. It's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like mine because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.